Oh god. Yeah, let's go, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. That rain is. Oh, I yeah, can't see. <laughs> yeah, bud. <laughs> I love it here, but wow, it is spicy. Bring your A game. So I figured today I can give you guys a little tour of this hotel that we're staying at here in Cusco. I got a pretty sick room, I'm not gonna lie. I got a bathroom in here. Pretty standard stuff. Although, do not flush your toilet paper. You just throw it away in there. Got a little desk set up here. <laughs> this is my uh, supplement stand. You know, I got my element over here. And then over here we got the bed. But the best part for sure is I can see out into the street here. Can't see much, but I can see out. So these are altitude pills for preventative and to help if you actually do get altitude sickness. This is called acetazolamide. I've never taken this before for altitude, but decided to try it for this particular one since we're gonna be at such high elevation so consistently. And because I was coming from, you know, pretty low. Apparently there can be some side effects like tingling or numbness of extremities. Uh, I haven't had anything yet. And I definitely did not get any I didn't feel anything with regards to altitude except for, you know, some difficulty breathing on really strenuous bits yesterday. So I think it's been working. All right, we're loading up for day two here and uh, we're heading up higher. We're going further. It's going to be bigger and better. How are you guys feeling? Four peeps. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, my <laughs> What? <laughs> Your eyes. <laughs> okay. That's a guinea pig? Yes, that's a guinea pig. Just in front here. He's so small. That's what we're going to be eating tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to eat some of that for dinner? Yeah, some <laughs> you said some of those are how big, dude? Oh, they are over 30 feet, almost 40 feet tall, and more than 20 hundred tons, bro. Bro. Oh, those were bro from and six those miles are away. Hand cut. Hand and cut. And then brought here from six miles away? Yes. Wow. Guys, I'm so freaking excited about today. We just took, it. that was a monstrous shuttle. Now we're up here in the past, we we're over 14,000 feet and we have people on this trip, some Floridians. Well, Joe's been to 14, but Maya's never been ridden a bike at 14,000 feet. As of yesterday, she had never ridden 11,000 feet, but I cannot wait to do this ride. It is just, straight up majestic up here oh my gosh how you feeling Maya you all right yeah the air is thin just take it easy ease into the day because we got a lot of riding this is so cool vamos Yes! It's fast! S Super chunk! That was one way to start the day. <laughs> That's choppy AF. Yeah, my eyes were watering. Yeah. <laughs> Good Ryan, you're fast on that. Off the little bit more right yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, that was so oh, much man. fun. Wasn't that yeah. sick? Oh. You did it, man. Oh. Not some, not yeah, so bad. much to be nervous about, right? No, not too bad at all. Ready? Yeah. Very side hilly. You guys will be able to see like off to my side. I just going that way is not an option. Oh gosh, don't look that way. <laughs> I can't look cause I'll go. Wow.
Dude! Oh, Holy cow, I can't tell where the trail ends on the left. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, it is. He said it's like riding an endless skinny. It's true. It's so narrow. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Well, we're done with the side hilling. But things are about to get steeper and rockier. Yeah, we're just going to get a sick view of, Cus of Cusco right here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go, bro. Sick. Yeah, this is good. This is good fun. So loose. Holy sh Yeah, that, that view, I was having a hard time focusing because I kept wanting to look up. Yeah, you can. <laughs> look at that. Ooh, that section was a little... Yeah, it was spicy. loose. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Slow speed. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, my Okay, so name of the game is we got a little gap jump over a creek and then we're gonna get into the trees up here and it's gonna be steeper. So maybe on the A game. Still not like super warm. So keeping that in mind as well. Oh, I see this gap, okay. Oh yeah, it's steep now. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Trees down, trees down, trees down. That's our boys. This is something we've been dealing with. A lot of these forests get logged and like we said yesterday, these trails are just ever changing. Really loose building rights and permitting, like pretty much free reign. However, this is the downside of it. It's free reign for everybody. Always an adventure out here in Peru. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll follow you. I trust. I trust in your ability on steeps. <laughs> so many, so many squeaks. Real steep. Ho oh. ho. All right, I'm giving them ton of space. It's crazy fucking steep. Yeah, Steve. That was sick! It's crazy steep! <coughs> Lots of front brake, Joe! Lots! Yeah, Kinty! Oh my god, she's doing it. Yeah! Let's fucking go, Maya! Nice. Yeah! <laughs> that was sick. It looks so cool from here. All right. We just descended like 2,500 feet. Super sick trail. Thoughts? Starting with you. Steve. Steve. So much fun on the exposed part. Loved it. Yeah, bud. Yo, I didn't have my camera on, but Maya freaking sent the steep spot. Let's go. It's good stuff, man. It's, it's okay. It. You know. Yeah. For a Florida guy, you know, some of this stuff is like not that impressive, but. Hey, and guess what? 
we get another lap. Let's go. Bro, yo, my hero. As you all know, I am constantly working to take care of my body and provide it the nutrients that it needs to keep me feeling good both on and off the bike. While on a guided trip like this with a set itinerary, it's even more imperative that I do everything within my power to make sure that I'm able to take full advantage of my limited time here and keep up with these really long days packed full of riding on the bike, which is where Element, the sponsor of today's video, comes into play. Element is hands down my favorite electrolyte drink mix on the market. With a science-backed simple formula, it provides my body everything that I need to stay hydrated and none of the dodgy ingredients that I don't. Element is used by everyone from NBA, NFL, and NHL players to Olympic athletes and Navy SEALs. And after a year of using it myself to help prevent post-ride headaches and cramps, I can without a doubt say that this stuff works. It's not a coincidence that Element is part of my supplement program that I brought on this trip. I bring this stuff everywhere. And the fact that it comes in these super convenient individual pouches makes that super easy. I'm not kidding. I literally brought a whole bunch of element down with me to visit my family for the holidays in case a night of celebration out with the family got a little out of hand. And you know, I needed a little something extra to ensure that I was ready to be the energetic favorite uncle of all the nieces and nephews the next day. Yes. I am definitely number one uncle, obviously. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in giving Element a shot, and I definitely recommend that you do, this is a great time to do so. Element comes in a wide variety of delicious flavors, and right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight individual serving packs free with any Element order. This is a great way for you guys to try all eight different flavors and you know figure out which ones you like, which ones you don't like. And look, Element is so confident that you will like their product that they offer a no questions asked refund on orders if you don't. They won't even ask you to send it back. So what are you waiting for? Keep your body salty and hydrated. Head on over to drinklmnt.com forward slash sampler and try your Element today. This deal is only available through my link specifically so that they can know that I sent you over to them. So make sure that you go to drinklmnt.com forward slash sampler. Thanks again to Element for sponsoring this video and for keeping me in top shape during this epic trip. Now, let's get back to the riding. Second shuttle of the day, feeling a little bit, a little bit warmer. This trail is gonna be interesting because said there's quite a bit of rock features like rock rolls, rock, gardens but then there's gonna be a section that's like super steep and challenging at the end oh wow yeah this is techy Gosh, I'm so happy that I have this <laughs> bigger bike, better brakes. They are serving me well. Ooh, whoa. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm turning around to catch everyone down that. Let's go, Tom. It rolls, it rolls. Yes. Chunky, I like it. A lot of brake modulation in here. Oh, that's a narrow one. Nice, dude. Gnarly spot. Not too bad. <laughs> cool. Hola. Got a family out for a hike here. Hola, hola. Oh God! Woo! I lost the pedal. Hold on, Matt. Sorry, guys. Keep going. Keep going. You got guys behind you. Go, 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 go. That was uh, quite a save. I'm not gonna lie. Not nice gonna lie. Spin on ice. Don't know how I did that.
All right, gotta shake that off. Oh gosh, what the? F Someone's getting loose, bro. Oh. I literally just said I gotta shake that off. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I'm all over the place. My bad. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Dude, this is so sick. Yeah, bud. Check it out. How fucking. I got blood on my bike. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving it. Where's it from? Where are you bleeding? Back here. Okay. I got I got I must have got a puncture wound from the pedal on that. The bike is officially mine and broken in. I've made the blood we've made the blood packed. A really steep finish that I was talking about over there. I would suggest it's like just around the corner. If you're not confident, I would suggest leaving your bike right here, walking ahead, taking a look at it. I've ridden it a few times. The last time I rode it I was clean. Time before that, I remember I like tripoded down the whole thing, but it was fine. Yeah, we're fine, dude. We're good. All right, I'm gonna follow Matt into this. You got this, bro. Give him tons of space. Yeah, bud. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, bud. Get it, Tom. Slow and steady. Oh. All right. Like that. You good? <laughs> Yeah. That may have been a little too slow, no, Tom. No, no, no. You okay? No. You broke it. Oh. Break. Shifter. It's actually just the shifter. It's not as bad. Better a whoops than a what if. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay. You can't. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. keep riding. You're not okay. Okay. Any words for the for the camera, Tom? I love it here, but <laughs> wow, it is spicy. Bring your A game. Yeah, bro. So we're gonna start heading back towards town. Just go straight into town, do a little urban riding again, and get to lunch. Oh my god! Jeez! Some salt, salpicon de pollo. This is some of my favorite bits. The, they're just cruising around in the urban, yeah. and just rolling straight up to lunch or post ride op race. Yeah, guys. Nice yeah, bud. Yo, great morning, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. Uh, beasts. Whole group of high level riding. Dude, I almost got wrecked by a dog just now. Yeah. Yeah. I was yelling. I was like, be careful. We just had lunch at a really good spot, and each of our meals cost about seven soles, which is crazy. That's like $2. <laughs> and it came with a soup, a full plate of food, and a drink. Crazy. Now we are heading to the other side of the ridge that we were riding this morning. We got about a 40 minute shuttle ahead of us. So little, little siesta time, let the stomach settle and uh, then another huge downhill coming. We're back up to about 14,000 feet and we're gonna be dropping in on what Matt has said is his favorite trail here in Cusco. Uh, called El Brujo, the wizard. For y'all's reference, the only other time I ever ride at 14,000 feet is in Colorado. And even there, it's pretty rare. So to be up this high riding is a real treat, even for me. It's an insane view. Cusco City. Unbelievable. Oh and everything, look at the rain over here. Yeah, rain there. Yeah, we find Earlier in the day, Kinti realized he's got a little issue Ooh. with his bike. Check this out. <laughs> uh, 
you sure this is gonna be okay for me to follow you, bro? <laughs> Was that thing working? Yeah, it's working. We rode in the other mountain there. We rode El Pastor and Wakoto. Yeah. And everything is good so far. All right. I trust so, you, man. All the hope is on Pachamama. She will, have to, she will look after us. Pachamama's got our back. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this feels so epic. Yeah, bro. We're in El Brujo now. Yeah. And there is a face you will see soon, but back in the Incan times, the shamans, the ones who were in charge to talk to the gods, they got the long skulls, as you can see down there. And these guys, back in the days, were you also drinking this famous drink known as ayahuasca, yeah. or chuma, that was easy for them and they can contact to the gods, they can talk to the gods and they let the people what the gods desire is, right? Yeah. That's why we call El Brujo to this beautiful trail nowadays. Those sun, that rain and... Oh, I saw I saw that, we're gonna hear that in a sec. But you, if you look behind, behind is, behind is raining llamas and alpacas. Yeah. It's raining llamas and alpacas, yeah, you're right, I can barely see back there. In, in uh, Peru. Instead of rain, it's raining dogs and cats. They have a very similar saying. It's raining llamas and alpacas if it's coming yeah. down. Okay, ready? Yeah, buddy. A, ready, Maya? <coughs> okay. Right. Let's do it, Kinti. All right, this is going to be pretty interesting. Wow, it's hard to see the trail right now. And off to the right, it's just nothing. It's like a rock shelf right below me. Yeah. Steep section, I'll give you space, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that was wicked. I'm sure it didn't look like much on GoPro, but you can kind of see how steep it is right there. So sick. All right, more steeps to come, rockier. Yeah, bud. Good line. Inca trail. We're on the Inca steps. Wall ride. Cows. Holy sh! Yeah, bro! Yeah! That was awesome! Tom's excited! Yeah, bud! <laughs> wow, that was epic! Holy smokes! <laughs> Alright, more Kinti Cam coming at ya! We're gonna hit some stairs and then there's gonna be some tough switchbacks. Ooh. Yeah, bud. Forearms are blasted. 
definitely very confident following Kinti and Matt's lines, which is really helping me a lot because these trails would be just so much harder if I was also having to spot my own line. We're in the sun! Yowza! That was cool! That was fun, man. That was a really fun spot. Seriously. As the sun came out, I'm like, oh. Yeah. It's like this. Surely, this is epic. I get so excited every time dropping into a new area. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm here doing this. This is unbelievable. Thank you to all you guys who watch my videos and make this life, this type of stuff possible. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> this is sick! Yeah! I wish y'all could see the smile on my face. Yeah! Yeah, Tom! <laughs> I can hear everyone behind me hooting and hollering. Holy smokes! Dude! <laughs> yes! Yeah. That was so fun! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm standing in cow manure. I was like, who farted? Oh, it's steep right off the bat, guys. It's just so gorgeous. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, this is so wicked. Whoa, super steep. Yeah, bro. Oh, wow. Yep, these are tough. All different sizes. Jancy, you're locked. You dropped your phone. Yeah. I'm gonna get some clips of everyone else. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Doing these stairs again. All right, well that trail lived up to its reputation for sure. Lived up to the hype. The wizard is magical. Not, not the hardest trail we've done, just so fun.
Great lap, bro. Great, yeah. <laughs> All right, before our last lap of the day, we're making a little pit stop to see some alpaca, see some wildlife. We're gonna see some alpacas, some llamas, some other things. We're gonna feed them. Let's do the tourist stuff. Camelitos del Tawantin Suyo. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we got takers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these ones. Those are llama cara. They have less wool, right? We don't eat llamas, but in the highlands, they make jerky out of the llamas. These so alpacas. these are the alpacas? Yeah, they have shorter ears, shorter face. As you can see, they look fat, but they are not fat. The wool is what they have, and that is the best quality. Look how shaggy those ones are. What are those? Yeah, those are alpaca suri, but we call the Rastafarian ones. So these guys are pecunias and apparently their fur is even softer than like cashmere. You can get an alpaca sweater for like $60, a sweater of one of their some of their hair is like three thousand dollars tonight we're having a dish that's guinea pig yes yes, yes we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna enjoy it cooey cooey i they're so cute though oh my gosh so delicious. They don't like to... all right so apparently there's a, a secret room Seek. Room. You'll see the culture there. Oh, don't okay. touch anything, guys. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> don't touch anything. Yeah. We're going back to the womb of the Mother Earth in order to reborn in the upper world. That's why they were buried with all the things and belongings they had back in the days. If you see that mummy, he was a warrior because so he got an injury. Head? Yes. No, actually, that was a surgery because when they got very bad uh, injuries in the head, in order to save the life of the people, they made a hole in the skull just to release the pressure off from the brain. Once they have done that, they put they have to seal it back. They put gold or silver, and most of the time they put the dry skin of the squash of pumpkin, which is very strong. Wow. Put the skin back, and these guys were living a normal life, and that's a small example of that. I don't know how. So that's making that noise as the water goes back and forth? Yes, yes, bro. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Holy crap. Wow. Look at this. What can you see on the first view you have of this? A kind face. Of, kind of an alien in this. But that, this looks like a face, right? This is the solar disk, the sun disk. If you take a look at these, these are the eyes and this is the mouth. Yeah. But if you look carefully, this looks like something to control. Look, this is a caftan. You see the eyes and the antennas, another oh, yeah. part of the crew, and you see more people there or more aliens. So back in the days when the Incas became the best, so the Incas had to fight with the Chancas. The Chancas were proper warriors. And Pachacutec, the best Inca king, he went into a retreat on a lake. And they said the sun god came down and has chosen him to be his son and he gave him a tool. And with this tool, he will do amazing things. And that's why they made the replica of the sun coming down. But if you take a look, this looks like a flying saucer and there is a crew there, you know? So that's why if you watch ancient alien show, he will talk about these and lots of crazy stuff. All right, well, that was cool. That was worth a detour. Oh, we're just leaving from here? We're leaving from here. Oh, okay. Get ready. Dang, the storm is coming. We got a rock. We don't have much daylight left, so we uh, we gotta huff it. It's definitely kind of hard to see already. That's metal. <laughs> this is the trail that takes us back to our hotel through a little urban ride. But this section we haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, bud. We got tiny horses. Hey, guys.
<laughs> yeah, I'm not. Oh yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, I got him. Yeah, pass it, pass it up here and then go through. You can even just like roll it across the top, dude. Watch the roof. Oh, thanks, dog. I got it. Gosh, this is a new one. <laughs> and just like that, we're back at our hotel. What a freaking adventure that day was. <laughs> yeah, bud. What a day. Oh, what a day. Where do we go from here? Apparently only up. They keep saying it just gets better and better. So, wow. Oh, oh my God. Hey, so Pacha Mama. Pacha Mama, yeah. Salud. Salud. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Uh, hey, Kinti. Yeah, what's your, bro. What's your favorite part of today? Riding, bro. I love riding. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what's your favorite part of this day? Uh, that part where we're going downhill. Yeah. That part. Tom? I think it has to go to the section on El, El Brujo. The techie flow. So sick. So Following sick. Following you and Steve, I've learned so much from watching you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was dude. awesome. <clears throat> My, the, the views. views. The views? Are epic. Yeah. Today. This right here, bro. From my friends. Oh, at, this? From my friends at Master Charcuterie and, <laughs> and having all you guys back here safe and stoked. What a day. I think all the Steve Rocky stuff. Yeah. And the views. The <laughs> that's views. like, like ah. It's hard to say what my favorite part of the day is, but being up above 14,000 feet and just seeing all of the weather closing in around us with some patches of sunlight definitely feels magical and riding that section where I was following Kinti along the edge of the mountain and it was crazy playful just m so many alternate lines that was just the epitome was of fun but I'm gonna wrap up the video here we still got dinner but I know I'm gonna be tired by after that I'm already whipped and we're already having beers so <laughs> thank you guys for watching I really hope you enjoyed this day I don't know how it possibly gets any better than this but Apparently it does. Next video, next week, we're gonna be heading in towards the Sacred Valley, deeper into the mountains. So we're gonna be changing locations and as we change locations, we're gonna be doing rides along the way. Very excited for that. Excited for a change of scenery, get a little bit further from the big town. So I hope to see you guys there. And I will very soon. Until then, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked. Cheers. For Wally. Wally? Yeah. Wally the Kui? Wally. All right, trying some uh, Kui for the first time. Some guinea pig. One more piece. Of it. That pretty good. First, that's your first bite? It's Not bad, good. right? Kins always wears out. That is way better than I expected. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel bad they're so cute, but delicious. It tastes good, right? Pretty good. <laughs>